Hey guys, and welcome to this video. In the last video, I went over Material UI, and I showed you examples of using more components. Also, I showed you a basic example of um, using uh, responsiveness or how to achieve responsiveness in Material UI. The video was very long, and the quality wasn't that great. I wasn't really happy with it, but it was took me ages to record, and so I wasn't going to throw it away, even though I wasn't happy with it. So. In this video, I decided to go over um, breakpoints and uh, responsiveness and how can you achieve that in Material UI. I'm going to try and keep it shorter so that it maintains the quality. So let's get started. So if you can remember from the last example, we created this page here, which has an icon button and tabs, which are used to navigate to different pages or links and also a header and this block right here. And so when the screen um, shrinks, we hide the, the typography along with the bar beside it. And I showed you how that's been done, but I want to explain more about comp uh, responsiveness in um, Material UI. And the most popular way to do that is to use breakpoints, inside your style.js. So something like this. And so Material UI comes with uh, four different uh, helper functions. So we have down, I'll just write it down here. So we have down, we have only, we have between, and we have up. I believe it's called up, yes. And so these help us target the breakpoints that we want. And the breakpoints, Material UI already comes with its own uh, breakpoints, which can be configured, can be renamed, it can be changed in, in terms of value. And so if we were to look at the breakpoints in Material UI, it shows you that we have one, two, three, four, five different breakpoints. And they are named as XS for extra small, small or SM for small. MD for medium, LG for large, and XL for extra large. In CSS, we would use something as media query, media, and, and so on. In Material UI, we don't do that. Instead, we use these helper functions, which will return that media query string for us. Okay, so you don't need to worry about writing on media. You just need to use these functions here, and they'll do the job. And so let's go through them one by one maybe. So we've added an example here so that we hide the text or the typography here along with the text or the block that's included with it when it reaches small or down. And that's like saying and max and media max width um, small basically. But instead of that, we say theme breakpoints down. So we include the themed breakpoints and the function, the helper function inside brackets. Okay. And then we do the block and um, the style basically that we want to execute um, when that um, condition is met. So basically this here returns the media query string, but we don't see it here. Okay. We only see this. And so let's do something else. For example, let's do, um, actually, before we do anything else, I need to explain something. So we, we look at the breakpoints here. We're doing, we're saying SM and down. So this means small and down. So initially you might think that because SM is 600, okay? So SM is the breakpoint is 600. You might think this means from 600 and down to zero, then hide this. But that doesn't work like that in Material UI. If we look here, extra small extends from zero to nearly 600. SM extends from 600 to nearly 960, to like to medium. So what we're saying here is that I want this CSS to be active when the breakpoint is 
small or below small and if we look here small starts at 600 and it ends at 959 so right before medium and so it's the breakpoint will be active or this code will start being active from 959 until zero so when you say small small means all this length when you say medium it means from 960 all the way to right before large when you say large large includes all the way from 100 and 1280 all the way to 1919 so right before it reaches the next point that's what it means so extra small here is um, 0 to uh, 599 basically but I hope you understand this it's uh, it's very confusing for a lot of people and me uh, myself I was a bit confused and didn't understand what was happening so let's show you more examples so as you can see we have the functions here and um, basically think of them as media queries because they do return media query strings and instead of having to write and max width and min width they basically give you fun uh, helper functions that do that for you so let's do something else let's remove all of this and let's go back to our um, code here and actually let me close this down and let me do something so let me save this to get everything back in track. Yep. So I'm going to do something with the button when it reaches a smaller size, for example. Or with the, with the text, sorry. I'm going to do everything here. So, for example, I'll start with the app bar. And I'm going to say, I'm going to change the background of the app bar when it reaches a, cert a certain point. So when it reaches, I want to say maybe... Um, extra small I'm going to move this beside it so when it reaches extra small so I'm saying extra small 0 to um, 5 uh, 500 and 599 basically so when it reaches that I want to do something so I'm going to uh, to use the breakpoints we need to use the theme so we'll do theme we'll do theme dot breakpoints dot um, we'll do down maybe or up we'll do up for a change and in here we'll execute our code so I'm gonna do something to the app bar maybe when it's uh, at medium or above medium and so right now when I say medium it's going to start at 960 or up okay if it was down it will start let's say medium and down it will start at before the end of the, the next before before the end of this point so right now I'm gonna say MD and this is how you reference uh, the breakpoints XS SM MD large XL it can be changed using the theme uh, provider and it can be changed into your own uh, meaningful text so like you can say tablet phone laptop and so on so right now i'm saying themed or breakpoints up md and i want to change maybe the background color actually it's js color and i want to say maybe it's uh, purple so i can see it i'm going to save that go back to my code and refresh and if I was to go as you can see here it changes the color once I expand the screen and the reason that not everything got changed is because I changed the color of this background here to white or this uh, icon but uh, I think it was a div yeah so if I was to get rid of it and and it you can see it is uh, purple 
and if you can see here it only turns purple once we reach a certain point so 965 964 960 and 959 so 959 right here it stays the same but the minute it hits 600 or 960 that's when it changes and so what does that tell us is that you gotta be careful when using this because it can be very confusing so we said medium and up so start this or activate this breakpoint when it's at 960 or 915 uh, 960 all the way to extra large so anywhere from 960 any desktop or screens that are greater than that size will have this um, this uh, this color so the next thing let's use another one let's do maybe um, let's see let's do something let's use the only so we'll have another breakpoint here themed of breakpoints dot only and I'm gonna say extra small for change or extra oh, my bad extra small and in here I'm gonna say I'm gonna change the color maybe I'll change the color of it because it's the the text I'm gonna say I want it to be gold so what the what the excess is or what the only is it says that only when the breakpoint or the screen size is between 0 and 599 so only when it's between this so basically these uh, lines it shows you it gives you a better explanation of how far this breakpoint extends so anything else above the 599 it's not going to get affected and so therefore we need to as you can see it's always already uh, been re uh, resized but this is the original color and if we were to resize it to, as you can see now, extra small. This is extra small because this is 5.95 or 5.99. So anything below that is going to be affected. Anything above that will not. So this is what only is. Let's move on to the between. And so the between one is like saying between this width and this width so between two different breakpoints and let's look at the tabs maybe or let's look at the toolbar yeah let's look at the toolbar so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say theme dot breakpoints dot uh, between and in here I'm going to pass in my two breakpoints so in here I'm going to say between extra small and between medium I want to do something or between small maybe let's say small actually because I don't think my screen can go um, that far I want to do something what do I want to do I want to change the background to our background color just say background to red just to see it working and so I'm gonna save that and so I'm gonna go back to my code and look at it and it's already taken effect and if I was to go higher than medium you can see the style doesn't get applied so anywhere from medium to extra small the style gets applied and so what does that mean or what does this mean here if we go back to the code we're saying anything from zero to small so anything from here all the way to here I want you to apply this style but once the screen size goes above this once it gets to 960 and higher I don't want you to apply it 
So you can see it's pretty straightforward. And one last thing I want to show is the down. I know I showed it in the last video, but quality wasn't great as I said. So let's do it here. And we'll do um actually let me let me go a bit higher so you can see the screen. We'll do theme dot breakpoints dot down. And in here I'm gonna say small. So it is up to you to decide what breakpoints your website needs. And you know you don't have to take all these breakpoints in, into consideration. You can cho choose to select uh, three of them or four or five. It's up to you really. Um, so in here I'm gonna say uh, background color, background color, we'll do uh, purple. Or maybe we'll, we'll do yellow. And I think down is one of the helper functions that people get confused a lot with because it doesn't really start where the breakpoint tells you. Instead, it starts from where it ends. So in here, what we said, we said activate this code or this style when it's at small, when the breakpoint or the screen sizes is, is 600 or 959 and below that so this what say what it says basically so activate it when it's right here at 959 and below that so anything from small and below small because we as we know small is from 600 to 959 and so if we go back to our page and as you can see right now it has been activated. If I go anywhere above that, it gets deactivated. If I go lower than that, it gets activated again. And that's basically it in terms of um, styling from a CSS or from styles.js. There is other things that you can use, such as a helper functions uh, or a helper function that can help you uh, get the width of the screen. And based on the width, you can re-render or render certain components and I believe it's called if we go back to the code here or to the page is a higher order component called with width and basically what we do we wrap your component in this and then this higher order component will return the width prop which can be used inside your component to conditionally render um, elements also just keep in mind that this with width will be deprecated and and so it is recommended here to use the use media query hook okay and if we want to look at it it gives you all the explanation and how it's been used here it's a react hook so it gets used inside functional components and gives you different examples of it so i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you again in the next video